So why you? Why did you not end up with your kids? I couldn't take care of them. Financially or just? So was you on All the drugs around. back then as well? Weed and like powder for fun, yeah. So I told my sister to take care of them because I couldn't. The same sister you grew up with? She raised both of my children after me. Do you well, feel like do you mm -hmm. feel like do you feel like your kids um have a, a a level of resentment towards you for that? Especially my son. So I mean, listen, the, the he's accent. not he's not here right now. If you could give him any message, look him dead in the camera, and just tell him whatever's on your heart. I'm sorry, I love you. Just pray that I get better. What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post-interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button. Become part of the family. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? Hi, fine. All right, all right. So are you homeless? Yes. Okay. Um, how old are you? 40. 40? And so how long have you been homeless? Almost. Not yeah, speak up just years. a little bit. Almost two years. About two years? Yeah. And so has that been two years like on and off or is that two years just straight through? On and off. On and off? Yeah. And so when was the last time you had like a roof over your head? Uh, a year ago. A year ago? And so what was it that happened a year ago that caused you to become homeless again? I lost my daughter. You say your daughter? Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. How old was your daughter? <laughs> Fifteen. You say she was fifteen? How did she pass? Yeah, she was I wasn't there. You wasn't there? So was she in foster care or defects? No, she was with my sister. She was with your sister. Please though. Okay. All right. Um so, why was it, what was it about losing your daughter that caused you to become homeless? I left Tennessee. I left where I was supposed to be at, with my sister. So, you was living so with I your did, sister? Yeah. I just, I left there. I came here and tried to figure out if I could make a way here. And it's been hard ever since. So, and I was in Union City a month ago. I got um, hit by a car. Um, and it out of my femur on my right leg. And um, I didn't want to be out here homeless and in the real there, so I had a walker and I would walk up and down the streets holding the walker up and just walking without the, the walker itself. Just try to learn how to walk, so that's why, you know. Yeah, I mean, the guy just <laughs> yeah. came by and said that you had I don't a. Have my walker anymore. Yeah, you had a walker and now you um are, have no walker. Well, hey, man. I mean, that's that's congratulations. That's great progress. Thank you. Um, okay. So, how many kids do you have overall? Two. Two? And so, just one that's living? Okay. How old is your other child? He's 20. 20? Yeah, he's doing good. Doing good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so, they... Fed, they at FedEx in Tennessee. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, he's doing great. All right. Um, they have the same dad or different dads? Same dad. Same dad? Was that a marriage or, or just no, a long-term relationship? Long-term. Long How long? Six years. Six years? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess that was a while ago, though. That was when you was a much yeah. younger woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was when you was about 20 or so. Why did that relationship end up, you know, dissolving? He was abusive. Physically? Yeah. Uh, did you ever, like, call the police and stuff like that? No. Nah, just decided to leave. 
Was he abusive, like, in year one, year six? He was always abusive, and I just ignored it. Okay. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, I guess, so let's just start from the beginning. So, where are you from? Tennessee. What part of Tennessee? Man, shout out chat town, man. Shout out that <laughs> chat, that big chat chat. Hey, all day, man. Chattanooga, major love for Chattanooga, man. My best friend growing up, um, his family's from Chattanooga, man. Okay, so okay. shout out, shout out to y'all, man, all day. All right, and so <laughs> um, growing up in Chattanooga, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No, my oldest sister. My That's mom who you grew up with? Okay, were they like kind of on the streets type deal? My mother was uh, an alcoholic. Okay. My, my birth mother was. I was born with fetal alcohol syndrome, so we have addiction in our family. So. Okay, and so, alcohol. and so your mother was alcoholic. What about your dad? Uh, same thing. They were both street people. Okay. Yeah, and so you say you grew up with your older sister? Yeah. How much older was she than you? Yeah, she was born in 54. 54? <laughs> oh, wow. You get back. It's quite a it's gap. 14 of us. Oh, wow. So yeah. your mom had 14? Yes. Yeah, okay. She's the oldest. My, old, my sister's the oldest. I'm the baby. And it's 12 in between. Okay. Okay. And so, um, you know, I mean, you grew up with your sister. Would you say growing up that you had like a fairly normal childhood? I did. I did. Good childhood? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything that it went wrong was because of me. Okay, so I mean, did you like go to high school? I went to high school and I went to college. Okay, so you graduated high school. What college did you go to? Chattanooga College. Okay, man, yeah. shout out Chattanooga <laughs> College, man. And so how far along did you get um, into I college? I graduated from medical office. So, so it was like an associate's base, like a, was yeah. it like a two-year program? Did, yeah. Okay, and that was in like, is, is that like medical billing and stuff like that? It's almost that? like medical billing coding. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, and so did you did you work jobs that were billing and coding? No. <laughs> so what did you I do? I worked at T-Mobile. I worked at T-Mobile for three years. Okay, so you end up working for T-Mobile? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, I see the teeth and stuff like that. Do we have drug use? Yeah. Okay, is it crack? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and so, how old were we the first time that we smoked crack? 35. So this was just five years ago? My ex-boyfriend put it in my weed, and I got a difference. Just uh, from what, one uh, time, or was it multiple times? It was multiple. He was doing it multiple times, but I noticed the difference in the, you know, the taste, the taste, and the feeling of it. And I was drawn to it. I wanted that more than weed. So. And this was your ex-boyfriend. So, did he smoke it as crack? And he was. He would put it in his in his weed. In his weed. Yeah. And he didn't tell you this. How long till you found he, out? Um, it was about a, about a week or two. It was about a week. So after about a week or two, you was hooked. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew. I wanted what was in it, whatever that was that was in it. I wanted that. Okay. All right. And so that was up in Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. He's passed away now, so. I would prefer not to talk about him. <laughs> How did he pass? Same thing. Sickle cell? No. Oh, the drug abuse. Drug use? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about him passing. Um, okay. And so, I mean, so the long and short of it is that, <laughs> so you started smoking just five years ago. You said, but it's, it's hard. I think that crack cocaine is the, the worst addiction to stop more than any other drug. It really is. And it's not, it's different than like my, my sister was telling me, it's like different than when y'all were younger or whatever. Because it's the things that's in it. And it's like worse. It's like, and it's killing people faster. But it's still harder to get off of. So like, when was the last time you smoked crack? Yesterday. It wasn't this morning or nothing? It was yesterday? Okay. And is that pretty much because there was a lack of money? Like if you had money, you would have probably smoked something this morning? Probably. Okay. Probably. All right. Um, and so, I mean, being a lady out here on the streets, being addicted to crack, 
Uh, do men offer you money for sex? All the time. Do I? No. <laughs> they mad? Yes. You say what? What was the last thing you said? Are they mad about that? Yes. Have you ever? Mm -hmm. So when was the last time you did it? It's been a while. Over a year? Mm -hmm. Months. A couple months? What made you stop doing it? I just didn't feel right afterwards. So when you was out there and you was doing that, what would be the lowest amount that you would charge? Twenty. $20? And would that be protected or unprotected? Protected. Always. Always. You, you, you don't know what these folks are dealing with. Okay. All right. So, oh, Lord. I mean, let me ask you this. If if you could get in the time machine and and if there's a certain moment in your life that you could go back to and change that will hopefully change this fate and this outcome that you have right now what age what moment would that be birth of my daughter say that again the birth of my daughter what would you do differently i would stay with my kids and not live so why'd you, why did you not end up with your kids? I couldn't take care of them. Financially or just, so was you on All the drugs around. back then as well? Weed and like powerful things, yeah. So I told my sister to take care of them because I couldn't. The same sister you grew up with? She raised both of my children after me. Do you well, feel like, do you feel like, do you feel like your kids, um, have a, a a level of resentment towards you for that, especially my son. So I mean, listen, the, the he's accent. not he's not here right now. If you could give him any message, look him dead in the camera, and just tell him whatever's on your heart. I'm sorry, I love you. Just pray that I get better. When was the last time you was able to talk to him? It's been a while, over a year. You didn't talk to him on Mother's Day? How does that make you feel? It's hurtful, but it's my fault, so I, I can't really have nothing said about it. Okay. All right, miss. Well, listen, we really appreciate you. Um, taking the time, answering all of our questions. Let me just ask you, just real quick, um, at this point, are we content with just kind of being addicted to crack or is that something that we're trying to kick? I want to kick it. You say what? I want to kick it. You want to kick it? <laughs> yeah. Are we, are we doing anything to do that? Yeah. Are we making any active moves? I just to get moves? off the streets. There's a few minutes ago. Over here. At the center. And it, 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 they say it's good news, but it's not good news to me. But I just got to wait they say six months to a year for the waiting list for the housing. I'm just, I pray so, that it's sooner than that. So what are you going to do in the meantime? I have to go to some of these churches and, and, and find out what I can do. Go to Salvation Army. They gave me a list of places I can go to. Just of um, shelters. They said all the shelters are full. So I don't know what, I don't know. I mean, let me ask, why not consider going back to Tennessee? Say what? Not an option. Why is that? I, I mean, because I don't want to be in Tennessee. You say you don't want to be in Tennessee? I, I, Tennessee. No. Well, I mean, it's like I was just asking because, like you just said, like Atlanta shelters and the resources. Well, I mean, I'll find what I need to find out. Okay, okay, so you're willing to go through the process? And, all right. All right, Miss. Well, like I say, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate. Do you have a way they could do that? Do you have, you know, social media, anything like that? Um, donate to my son. My sister's email address, if you want to donate, she, you can find out her email is Evans, E-V-A-N-S-M, as in Mary, the number 78, yahoo.com. Okay, do you know your son's cash app or anything like that? No? Okay. You can get all that through my sister Through Mary. the Gmail? Yes. Okay. 
All right. Well, like I say, Miss, we really appreciate you and wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Thank you. All right. Make sure you have a good one. You too.